back with the American Dream, Iran Sinai. He is such a great guest that is with us with incredible information. And he's back again today to follow up with some awesome things that he's been learning lately. Iran, great to have you. You are the good founder and president of ID Cyber Center, but you do so much more. Yes. So it's always good to have you back Thanks. on. You recently have just been to a couple conferences and even gotten some new tools in your tool belt. You were out for a debt relief conference and mm -hmm. also more cybersecurity. Why don't Correct. we touch on that? I want to hear what you learned. So it was quite, quite fascinating. So what I've learned that our debt in the United States has risen so much. And it's interesting, even though they say that they, believe it or not, the average credit score has been at all time high, which is at 704, it's kind of almost doesn't make sense to me because on one hand, they're talking about the debt, uh, credit card debt is mm -hmm. over a trillion dollars and student loan debt is 1.4 trillion, which means you, me, and everyone that listens to us, we each owe over $30,000 $30, on credit card to pay this total credit card debt. And charge of rate has gone up, meaning default rate. People mm -hmm. that have not been paying credit card has gone up. And also what's, what's the sad thing about it is that people over the age of 65 have been filing for bankruptcy more in the highest rate ever been. See, that's just heart-wrenching. It, is. it to, is. To be to reach that place in life and say, okay, now this is what's happened. What do you, what do you see? Why is this happening like this? So I've, I was fascinated by the fact, and you know me, I couldn't just sit and accept it. Right. So I wanted to really go and take a look to see why. And here is the amazing fact, what I found about it. So especially in California, we have what's called homestead equity. Mm -hmm. okay? Homestead equity says that if you're over the age of 65, as long as you don't have more than $150,000 equity in your house, you may qualify for Chapter 7 bankruptcy and get rid of all your unsecured mm -hmm. debt, but keep the house, and creditors cannot touch any of the equity. So what I've seen happening, all people over 65 that now are in Social Security, mm -hmm. I think the average Social Security check is about 1,404. Mind-boggling. It's about, yeah, yes. it's about the average. So they don't have a problem qualify for bankruptcy. So what they do, they figure, okay, we've helped our millennial kids go to college. Mm -hmm. We've helped everyone. Now we've wrecked quite a bit of credit card debt. We don't need a car. We don't need anything new. We're good with what we have. We have equity just enough not to lose the house, but we have some equity. Uh -huh. Let's just get rid of all the in unsecured debt and start from scratch. And I think it's become, people have become more business orient oriented in the way they think. Mm -hmm. And they decided, I might just do that and get rid of the debt and let me start from fresh. Take the bricks off the shoulders Absolutely. With that. So it's, it's quite fascinating to it know is. because... You know, the American dream and, and the altogether school of thought and the trend was, I'm never going to do bankruptcy. It's embarrassing. Right. right. But, you know, people kind of say, you know what? It's not the end of the world. And sometimes it might be the best choice in the right situation. Yeah. It doesn't mean they're taking advantage of the system, but now they can have their needs met for this stage in life like yeah. you're talking about. So I, I'm, I agree with you. I think that for the right people... This could be why this is happening. That's right. And, you know, it's, it's the American dream and the American system. Yes. And, and there's no debtor's jail. Right. There's no such thing. They got rid of it hundreds of years ago, right? There's no such thing anymore. Right. And people are sitting with their financial planners. And people are really watching more what's happening. Another interesting thing, not related, but more related to the mortgage industry that I've seen, is that even though people are crying that their rates are so high, they're not because people like Beyonce and Jay-Z and people, well, billionaires mm -hmm. like that are carrying mortgages that are hundreds of hundreds of thousand dollars a month mortgage. And they could buy those houses in cash, but their financial planners are telling them, look, money is cheap. Four right. or 5%, get a mortgage. Give me your money and I'll invest the cash. for you and I'll make you twice as much. Yeah. So, you know, so there's so much going on in the economy. Right. And people are being savvy. Yeah. 
that's that's what I see. People is are being savvy. Absolutely. Aran, we always love when you bring this kind of information to us, and it's great that you always go out. You even get more tools. You're constantly staying up to speed on what's going on in so many categories for us, and it's really incredible the way that you empower those of us here, our viewers on the show, and such an integral part of what we're about and, and what we want thank to talk you. about. So thank you again for being thank here. Thank you for having me. You're watching The American Dream. We'll be right back.